Hello and welcome to a video virtual tour for Six Turn and Gate in Bedford, Nova Scotia in the subdivision of the Ravines. This town home is only a few years old. There's a, still a new home Atlantic warranty uh, still in place. Uh, pretty much maintenance free. You have a brick exterior and then vinyl, great shingles. Just going to do a panoramic tour here. There's parks, walking trails, schools, entertainment, shopping, highway access just around the corner, very centrally located. here what turning gate looks like very family focused area family oriented area and uh, just a great area of measurement of the city of Belfast. okay so now we'll go inside so this is the hardwood staircase going upstairs we'll go up there in a moment this is the foyer that we just came in. I'm going to turn in a little bit and then turn around so you can see where we came from. There we go, that's an upgraded front door. This is your coat closet. And there's your main floor. This is the hardwood staircase going downstairs. That I'll show you in a moment as well, that's why we'll be ending the tour. This is your two-piece bath on the main floor, and that's a granted countertop. This is the access to the single car garage. So a good size garage, you can fit a vehicle in here if you would like. Automatic garage door opener included. And there's your power panel and lots of storage and again room for a car. So the flooring on this floor is all hard surface as you can see. So there's hardwood here in the living room and then you have tile in the entry and foyer and then you have hardwood uh, on both staircases. There's the access to the back deck and a green belt. There's your dining room, your dining area. And there's the kitchen with a backsplash, stainless steel appliances all included, and granite countertops once again. Double stainless steel sink. And you have, a, this is also included, which is a stainless steel natural gas stove, which is very efficient and gives you immediate heat for cooking, which is great. So once again, the view from the kitchen. This is an R2000 house. So this is an, as efficient from a construction perspective as you can possibly get. Here's the back deck. We're just gonna go outside. Get a full appreciation of the deck. Great size deck in great shape. Again, only a few years old. You do have a natural gas hookup right here for barbecue, so no more running and getting propane tanks. And there's the green belt that it backs onto. You do have steps going to down to the backyard, so great for pets and kids and easy access. There's the backyards further up the street. And as you can see here, some people have put sheds in the backyard, so you can certainly build a shed if you wanted to. And there's where we just were. That's where we just came from. And there's the dining room. So we'll venture back inside. And I'll just do one more panoramic of this floor. Nice neutral pink color. Again, it's only a few years old and in great shape. Okay, the heating is hot water baseboard, natural gas fired furnace. We'll be seeing that when we go into the basement. So very efficient. And once again, it's an R2000 house, so you have low ER going windows and doors, you have added insulation in the attic, in the exterior walls, and of course you have rigid insulation in the, uh, in the slab itself in the basement. So it's a very well built home. Now, we're now on the bedroom floor. So the trim is upgraded as you can see, Boston headers, great doors. This is the laundry closet. So washer dryer, which are included, and there's also a natural gas uh, hookup there if one wanted to get a natural gas dryer. So some storage above there for your soap and fabric softener and whatnot. Okay, so we'll go left. We're now at the front of the home. This is the master bedroom, which is a great size, hardwood floors. Nice big window, casement windows. We'll go all the way, you can see here the street, all the way in, 
do a panoramic here, a 360. So there's the ensuite, which we'll be going to in a moment. Then you can see your one closet there. There's where we just came from. And there's a walk-in closet here with lots of organizers, room for everything. And you do have natural light, a window in it, which is great. So now we'll continue on. There's a second closet that I mentioned. This is the ensuite bath. There's your sink, granite countertops, or granite countertop, pardon me. You have a good size walk-in shower, acrylic, which is nice and easy to clean and maintain. And you have the shower head there, and you also have body jets here. And uh, of course, you have the seat so you can sit there and relax and let the hot water wash over you. And then of course, there's your toilet. So we'll continue on. Now we're going to be going down the hallway. You have a linen closet here. More closet space over to the left. This is the full bath. So there's your sink, your toilet, and then your shower tub combo, which is also acrylic. Again, nice and easy to maintain and clean. And it's, uh, as I had mentioned, it's hardwood floors in the master bedroom upstairs, as well as the corridor. Now we're at the back of the home. So you have a good sized bedroom, big window overlooking the backyard. Then you have a double closet there. And that's where we just came from. And now we'll be going into the third and final bedroom, which currently has a little boy living here. Nice big window once again overlooking the green belt and a double closet again with nice trim packages and trim throughout. All right, so now we're gonna be going down into the basement. The basement is fully finished. You have more storage as well as a rec room, a bathroom, and a fourth bedroom. So here we go. So hardwood staircase once again. Your main water access, municipal access is right here behind these doors. Laminate flooring all down here, so solid surface. So this is the hallway to uh, the basement area. So more storage here. This is where the natural gas furnace is. All the fittings and all that stuff, providing you domestic hot water for bathing, as well as heat. There's your air exchanger coming away, fresh air in, stale air out, and then you have storage that goes under the stairs. Further down, so now we're into the rec room. So you have a good sized window there for natural light. It's currently set up as a media room. We'll go all the way through. That's what it looks like under the deck. And we'll just turn around, do a 360. So you can see exactly what I see. So a good size rec room for a townhouse. And this is your fourth and final bedroom. So you have three windows, good size windows. Great for guests. Or possibly someone to lift down here. Double closet. And you actually have a cheater ensuite. So that goes into the, ba the bathroom. I'll go in through the rec room here, so another full bath. So there's your sink, your toilet, and another acrylic shower tub combo. Once again, easy to maintain and clean. And you can get into the bedroom here with a pocket door. So it's called a cheater ensuite. So, so there you go. Beautiful house, close to everything, just a few years old, ready to go. My name is Chris Ryan. I'm a realtor with Royal LePage Atlantic here in Halifax. My phone number for additional information or to schedule a personal viewing is 902-830-4465. Thank you.